see the metal. Oh, I was gonna say hi to your audience. Oh. <laughs> what up, guys? Sorty check. Oh, here we go. License plate one one eight zero four one nine. Hey, I got a bottle of water. I'm kind of thirsty. Water? No? You want to help a civilian? Hey, I got a bottle of water inside. Any yeah, chance? We do, but we have to sign it out, and it's only for people that are without water. Okay. Uh, That's a lot of water. I'm just that. I mean, how many pallets? Yeah. You have? I have no idea. Hey, sir, you said if I needed any help, I got some. I need. I got a question for you. Oh, oh, cheap. Are y'all checking this out? So we got an officer that's being escorted because we have people with cameras. No, it's interesting. Not a, it's not an officer. No, it's, it's, it's under a dispatcher because we have people calling 911 saying that they're going to kill our dispatchers. Kill the dispatchers. Kill the dispatchers. Okay, so those cannot be our people. No, well, well, what I'm getting at is that's why they're being escorted. It's not an officer's dispatcher, and we're just trying to make sure that they're getting home safe. We have some that are crying inside, they're distraught because people are calling and saying that they're going to kill them. So that's, I, don't, I don't think that that's the right way we should be handling it. Okay, uh, yeah, well, my audience upset. would I know not tension be. Is up. I, I well, get it. But if if you know anybody that's calling in on that one, please don't. Well, that's please, why that's why that's us. why I'm I'm telling the audience right now. Okay. Okay, because I'm live and I I've been it. live this entire no, time. No, um, I'm so good. You, you yeah. video all you want, man. I was in the military. I support Second Amendment, First okay. All Amendment. I get it. Okay. Like I said, we're just we're just trying to make sure everybody gets safe. Hey, Leslie. After he did that, so it wouldn't be in here. So this is the chief of police guys that we're talking to. Uh, he's the new he's the new chief here at Tomball. Uh, he, he's at least being uh, um, he's at least uh, looking at the video and he's, he's not acting like a tyrant. So we have to do we do have to give credit to the officers. You know, he's, he's, he's listening to Patrick. Actually, you know, trying to explain it as best we can. 
um, in this situation. Um, it, it is, but it isn't. It is, but it isn't. It's not published. Yes. It's security for us, you know, so we know for sure somebody's got our back. Again, as you can see, he's not even at me. Take a look. Okay, well, I hate to pop your little bubble there. We got a third issue, but I'm waiting until y'all get done with all this. Sergeant, for a minute, because there's an issue out here with something else. Uh, okay, uh, do, who, who, I mean, well, I, I want Floyd to get taken care of first, but there's an issue with your vehicles out here. You've got three vehicles that are unlocked, one of them has a firearm. I just open the door like it's nothing. So I, I know that's that's just more on top of what you got. And then you've got this vehicle over here with the cat open with all with the information for whoever, you know, from whatever that call is. I appreciate you guys. Thanks. You know, it, it's an issue. It, it, this looks bad. All right, we got 630 people in here. Uh, we're, we're here at the police department. We're trying to get Floyd out. The, the chief, the chief. Here, let me go. I'm going to go. They fucked up. No, no, they fucked up. They big, go. huge. So once again, guys, um, I, uh, I forgot which vehicles it was. Okay, so this is one of them. Okay, this one is unit... 112. And I'm sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm, uh, uh, I broke something on my camera a minute ago. and uh, But anyways, so here we go. Here's the vehicle with the firearm in it. Look at that. Shotgun. Open. It's not what you want to hear. It's not what they want us to see. This one's locked. Okay, so not an issue with that one. Okay. This one's locked. Okay. Oh, you know what? This one does have a firearm in it. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got an, a, another un, unsecured vehicle. And this is part of what I'm trying to say. There, here is part of the issue. 
Unsecured vehicles. What's your name and badge number? Hey, you know you can get in trouble for that, right? No, I can't. Yeah, I, I'm well aware. I'm well aware of the law. You, know you understand that I'm a First Amendment auditor. I'm well aware of what my rights are. You can get pissed off all you want. If you if you if you secure your vehicle, then there's no need for that. There was the. Um, I'm pretty sure he just locked the vehicle that was that was unsecure. There was three of them. The the first two that are. Uh, okay. I think it was this one. I'm right here, hold on. Uh, I think that one's locked now. Okay, so all of them are now locked. What's your name and badge number, bud? Okay. Okay. Leo, man. You're being you courteous, I, I have an issue with you yeah, or anything like that. Hey, uh, the other I'll, officer was ready to snap at me because yeah, I- appreciate it, don't go in the shop, man. No, 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 I, and I understand, but look, here's my thing, okay? Here's the all factor. I open the door to make a point. Hey, look, the, the you know, the door's unlocked. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you lock your doors, you know, there's not, there's, uh, he was around the corner. Uh, he, he might be around in the front now. You want, uh, this way. What's your name and your badge in this, bud? It's right there. You oh, so, it. uh, that's what you tell the judge? Hey, bud. You're not going to give me your badge number? Right now, your police department looks bad, man. You, you, all you gotta do is, is just give me your name and your badge number. Yeah, I know, right? So I, I really need to know who the complaint is for. You know, you're live. But yeah, uh, yeah, this has been a good night, Terry. You know, a good night of just finding everything wrong with what these guys are doing. Uh, between the uh, equipment, between uh, them doing a false arrest, um, lying to the DA. Uh-oh, I hear Patrick screaming. Hey, now the chief was giving uh, Taylor a good, a good yelling. Oh yeah? Good yelling. Yeah. <laughs> you did tell him? Yeah. Uh, so real quick, Horizon City News is the guy who's in El Paso. Uh-huh. Uh, and he's the one providing the pizza today. Did so, he call Pizza Hut? Uh, he, I don't know if it's Pizza Hut, but okay. a couple hey, of pepperonis. Thank you, Horizon was City News. Yes. Horizon City News, thank you so much. I know this guy really appreciates the pizza. He's gonna love Thanks, it. Thanks, Horizon. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you want to tell my subscribers what your channel is, tell them while we're live. Uh, my channel is Authority Check. I'm out of the Corpus Christi area, and I do travel from you know Corpus uh, to other places. So I, I'm very appreciative that Patrick let me come and join him this weekend. Taylor, can we have for the release, please? Taylor, please. And that's your restory officer Boy, right there, guys. Wrong. Why did you lie on the affidavit? That's perjury, ma'am. I mean, we heard everything. I hope they're checking the dash cam video or downloading it. Taylor, do not lie on the affidavits. They do take your, your peace officer license for that. Please. It's perjury. That's a felony. It's all on video, ma'am. He was live streaming with a body cam. Do not commit perjury. Yeah, they're down, they're down the, the chief has to escort her out. <laughs> like we're Did you see that, guys?